I lived in North Germany in Oldenburg and Hamburg for a total of two years and one thing I learned in the north there's moin. Have you heard of moin before? Moin. It sounds like mine. Like mine. Like the seagulls in Finding Nemo? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think of. Moin? 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that like, like my, like mine? Is that no one? Close. Is? There's a word that sounds similar that does mean that, which is mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the same in English, just spelled different. But moin. moin is how Northern Germans say hello. Oh. Yeah. It's the regional way in the north of saying hey. And every time, like you go into a shop, a bus, anywhere. Moin. 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 Oh, it moin. Sounds, sounds like morning. Yeah, I thought that actually my first day in Hamburg, my study semester, I was walking into the building and there was the, the guy that was in charge of the building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said to me with a very hard moin. And I was like, morning. I don't know what he said. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't learn German yet. I was there to like learn German, so it was coming. But Also, if you put at the end of a sentence, just a random sentence like, ne, just like that, ne, um, then that's a different kind of meaning. It's, I hear those people that say right at the end of their sentences. Yeah. That's, that's kind of like in the Midwest, they go, they have the same like, eh? Oh, okay. Like Canadians, like eh? Eh? Oh yeah, yeah, that would be a good mm -hmm. equivalent. And then there's also, nay. 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 It means no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's good. I have to take a pause. -er. Pause? -er? Oh. A pause. -er. A pause. -er. A pause. -er. What's pause? -er? Well, that sounds English. <laughs> it, it is. Pause. -er. Pause? -er? It means like pause. Uh, all is good, my dear. 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 Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sounds like all is kinda, good, my dear. Kind of close. So half of that's right. I'll do, I'll split it by word. Okay. All is. All good. is good. All is good. Mm -hmm. All is good. Bye. My. Bye. That, that doesn't mean my. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were repeating me, and I was like, no, that's not the right word. <laughs> Uh, okay. Dia. Deer. If I had a strong American accent, I would say deer. But it's pronounced in German. Dia. But, and it doesn't mean deer? Like, our de like. Mm -mm. That would be Rea in German. <laughs> um, all is good, my dear? So it means I don't know. everything good with you? No. Oh. Dia means you. Uh, but the. Dia means you. Well, there's many ways to say you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> German is like four. <laughs> okay. Was geht up? What's up? Wow, that's really good. I think you just the, <laughs> the What's up? The backwards hat. Yeah. Was geht up? <laughs> so that's like super slang and like super rude if you say that to someone you don't like. I don't even know if people actually say this. You hear, you hear it in like rap okay. songs or like. It sounds like something you'd say at a club. Was geht up, Digga? Ah! Oh! <laughs> that's, that's, that sounds bad. <laughs> I thought that too, but then a German explained to me, Digga does not mean that. Oh. So. What does it mean? It means like, dude. Oh. <laughs> God. Oh, it means mate. Oh. What's up, mate? Well, that's Australian, but. Oh, and it, the dictionary says it's North German. No oh. Norddeutsch. And it's uh, Umgangssprache, which means slang. Oh. So, but yeah, Digga. No! <laughs> that's not something. <laughs> Too close. Too, <laughs> too close. <laughs> the next word is Nervenzäge. Nervenzäge. Du bist ein Nervenzäge. Ne oh. Du bist ein Nervenzäge. Nerven? Sounds kind of Dutch. Uh, du bist ein Ner Nervenzäge. Du bist ein Nervenzäge. <laughs> <laughs> you are a nervous wreck. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's a good guess, because nerven, I thought of that too when I first heard it. It means, like, to, uh, nerven is like the verb to annoy, kind of. Okay. So, like, du nerves me. You're annoying me. You're annoying me. So, and zega is the word for saw. Zager? Like, like a, a saw. Oh. So it's like, you're an annoying saw. You're an annoying <laughs> saw. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that phrase in English. No. So. No, I like that. I'm going to, like, remember that one, though. <laughs> Let's see. Ich habe ein Vogel. You have to say it slower. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Ich habe. Ich habe. Ein. Ein. Vogel. 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 Hast du ein Vogel? Hast du ein Weib? Ein Vogel? <laughs> ein, ein. Ein. Vogel? Vogel sounds like Folgers coffee. I don't know. Vogel is the word for bird. Bird. 
And I asked you, um, when I say hast du is have you. Uh -huh. And I said a bird. I said, do you have a bird? Do I have a bird? Hast du ein Vogel? But then the phrase is ich habe ein Vogel. I have a bird. Uh -huh. Do you know what that means? Do you have a bird? Do you have a chicken? Do you have a... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it means I'm nuts. <laughs> oh, like have you lost your birds? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. that's right. We do have something similar. Have you lost your, your like marbles? Your... Yeah. Have you, have you gone to the birds? Have you... Oh, I heard of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, she's gone can... to the birds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. True. Yeah, German's not as crazy as I thought. <laughs> ich hätte gerne. Ich hätte gerne. Ein Brötchen. Ein Brötchen. So I said, um, what do you know? Can you guess? Okay, uh, the first one is Ich hätte gerne. Ich, ich hätte, hätte gerne, gerne ein, ein Sandwich. I'm a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really nice way to say, I would like to have a sandwich. Oh. Here's one thing that I do find very funny about some of the commenters. Oh. I'm going to get flack for this. <laughs> it's people from Hamburg and they say that I'm a hamburger. Uh. <laughs> Sorry guys. In Americans we eat hamburgers and when you guys say that you're from Hamburg and you say that you're from Hamburg and I'm a hamburger, it makes me laugh. You, like, you can edit that out. <laughs> How do you guys feel from Hamburg to know? Mm. What do you guys say? Ich bin ein Hamburger? Nein, nein. Du würdest das nicht sagen. You wouldn't say that. They have something else. Hansestadt or something, I don't know. I don't know where the word hamburger came from. Lecker! Can you guess that one? Lecker! <laughs> Lecker! Lecker! Sounds like, let it go. Let it go! <laughs> let it go! The first time I heard that was walking through a train station at night with my friend. We were, we were both Americans walking through the train station. I was still learning German at this point and I we heard a homeless guy say, Lecker, lecker, lecker. Lekka, lekka, lekka. To us as we walked by. It sounds like it's Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not. <laughs> lekka, lekka, le Money? 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 Mm -mm. Please, please. Means mm. yummy. Oh. <laughs> oh. So yeah, the homeless man was saying yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is pretty gross. <laughs> I'll teach you some basics right now. Mm. Just bitte, bitte. Ich möchte gerne ein Sandwich, bitte. Please? Yes. <laughs> Sehr gut. Gut gemacht. Gut gemacht. Gut gemacht. Guten Tag. <laughs> Guten Tag. Oh yeah, Guten I forgot Tag. about these ones. Guten Tag. And in the south of Germany, they say uh, Servus. Servus. Gruß Gott. I don't know. Gruß Gott is like greetings oh, to God. Oh, Godspeed. Godspeed. Oh, okay. Maybe, right? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Like, that would be a good translation. Godspeed. Yeah, the northerners say Moin or Hallo. Hello. When I was in Norway visiting my mom's side of the family, they say, so this is the same in German, where like knee is knee, mm -hmm. and like knife is knife. Is similar in German? Messer is a knife. Messer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Knee, knee? Yeah. German? Okay, so that's similar. Oh yeah, I was going to ask, what do you know in German? Just knee? <laughs> no, I only know knee because of You'll be fine region. in German. That's all you need <laughs> to knee, know. Knee, knee. <laughs> Here's one. Um, a phrase, Lass mich in Ruhe. Lass mich in Hula. <laughs> Lass mich. Lass mich. 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 In. In. Rua. Hula. Rua. Hula. It's spelled R-U-H-E. It sounds like Hawaiian again. Lass mich in Hula. It means leave me in peace. Leave me in peace. Which is like, leave me alone. Lass mich in Hula. <laughs> okay, the, the ending I'll teach you is okay. choose. Cheers. Choose. 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 Yeah, exactly. Genau. Oh, you gotta learn that one. Genau. The, the Germans genau. are saying this all the time. Genau. 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 That means ex exactly. It means exactly? <laughs> yeah. Genau. I thought it meant good night. Uh, choose is bye, and then good night is gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Gute. Gute. Nacht. 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 Gute Nacht. Nackig. Bist du nackig? <laughs> that means, are you naked? <laughs> oh, God. Is that something that your boyfriend tells you often? Is <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, uh, yeah. Let us know what you think of the video down below. And what else should I teach Alexis for next time? Tschüss. Tschüss. <laughs>